Hello people, this is Matt Craftsman Harder Flooring, San Angelo, Texas, and uh, gonna show you guys a stair project that I'm working on. I had a request that talked about templating, and I had a, a home that has a feng shui staircase, and nearly every tread is a different size. So uh, here's an example of one of the templates that I'm making. It's basically a Luan or door skin type material. And basically what I've done here is when I templated on the tread, uh, this piece is butted against the riser. And uh, this piece actually has a slight curve to it. And uh, this one ha side has a more dramatic curve. So basically what I did to keep it simple is I cut it into little, little breaks, just kind of, you know, approximately matching the curve. And what I did is I just took a multi-tool and I just, I just kind of arc these sides a little bit until they fit tight against the wall. And it really wasn't that hard. Um, um, as you can see, it gets a little tighter as the curve gets tighter. I have more breaks. Um, but basically what I did is once, once these are tight against the wall, I can uh, take two pieces, put them tight, and there's put hot glue, hot glue, put that on, hot, hot glue, hot glue, put that one on, put this one on, this one on. Um, I just was cutting these either with a util utility knife or a multi-tool, but uh, I could get that curve and I can see what it's going to look like, how tight it's going to be when it goes in. Uh, so that's super helpful, um, especially when I, I template them all on site and uh, there's some over there. Those are just open sided. These are all risers down here and up here I got all the treads. So as you can see, they're all different sizes. Um, I have them all numbered out so I know exactly where they go. but. You know, they fit really snug against, uh, it's actually drywall, there's no uh, wood skirting. So um, it's a, a little bit more difficult. Drywall is not really as true as, as a wood skirting. So um, uh, this is designed to where when, when it lays in, it will uh, be flush. Uh, so, you know, I, after I get this side done and this side done, it's against the, the drywall and then this goes against the riser. So I can just hot glue that on there and then on that side, uh, pretty fast and easy. And then this right here, I just match this up to the where the next riser starts right there so i know i'm going to count for an overhang over here and so um, makes it pretty easy to get a complicated uh, template done um, it only maybe takes about a few minutes to cut all those out the more crazy the curve is the more difficult it is obviously because you got to uh, fine-tune that curve a little bit more but basically this is a another size that i have going so this one's a, not as drastic of a pie shape, but um, this one is already cut out. So I already have the shape there. So basically what I, what I do is I have some marks right here, and right here, and I could, just, I could set this on there. Set this side. And uh, you get the picture, but once I do that, I can cut this. I can cut this side uh, to the curve. I'm using the jigsaw for that because obviously it's a radius. And then uh, what I'm doing here as well is I can uh, use my track saw, set this up and I can, when I have that line done, and what I can do is, uh, is uh, track saw that line out there. So i my track saw, track it out. That makes it really easy. That would be a long cut like that would be really tough on a table saw. I have a table saw set up, but the track saw just makes it super easy to, to cut that out real fast. I'm actually cutting it kind of to size really quick and then jigsawing it out so I don't have a big old heavy piece um, uh, leveraging when I'm trying to, to jigsaw that out. And then what I'm doing is I'm bringing them out here and I'm just, I'm cutting a relief. Um, you can see it so it's at an angle so I have a plenty of a, of a sandable layer there but what I'm doing is is I got this trim router and this angle set on there and they're basically able to just run it along here it's got a bearing on it so it gives me just that slight angle so that um, when I put this in I could drop it in and it's going to be flush right here and then it's going to be angled on that side there so 
Um, I've released it all the way around. That way it can uh, um, easily slide into place uh, without messing any drywall up or anything. But um, that's pretty easy to do. It makes it fast. Um, still got that whole pallet to do uh, there. So I got still got to do all the risers. Um, I uh, This is actually a historical home and they got a new railing put in and the noodle's in the wrong spot. So I'm doing this one as well. So I already got these ones done. Same thing, made a template for them. Um, I actually use the old tread. You can see I have all the pieces hot glued back together uh, for this. So what I did is I had to cut this off to get it carefully off without damaging the uh, anything else on the step. But uh, what I did is I just accounted for my kerf and I hot glued it all back together. So that gave me a template so I didn't have to make uh, a difficult template there. Um, uh, I have some open sided stairs also on this um, as it returns back up so it goes kind of like a box pie shape to uh, just a regular return. It was an odd size. I could have bought this already made up, but uh, it was an extra deep tread and uh, I knew I was going to have to be fabricating everything anyway, so I just fabricated it. Here's, here's one that's done. Um, but kind of the process on that, you got an open side step. Um, got a little bit of everything on this one, so you know this has got a return. So but basically the way I got it set up is, is uh, uh, when I hold it against the back there, I know that my return is going to be right there because that's that's uh, where that where uh, this is going to sit against my uh, uh, the wall on this side here. Or if there's a skirt, you would be running uh, this against the skirt. And then over here, um, once I get it lined up, all I got to do is just make a line here. If this were a pie shape and it were curved, uh, I do the same method where I just cut the lawn into pieces um, and then curve them and then hot glue them in. But this would make it a really easy way to get a perfect cut. Um, uh, to template out and, and and the nice thing is, is you can template an entire um, Staircase all at one time. So you're just you cut all pre-cut all your templates uh, hot glue them all together and then you can uh, uh, You know have your entire temp all your templates you can make all your cuts at the same time uh, In this case, I'm going to sand and finish them pre-finish them do all that in the shop And then I'll bring all of them to the job site and then the install should go uh, really easy uh, once I have all that done so, um, you know, you can do this on pre-finish. It works pretty much all the way around. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky if you're using nosings, but on full treads, it definitely uh, is really easy. So, um, you know, I'm actually joining two treads together um, to get those wide pie shapes. And so um, that's what's going on here. So I'm kind of clamping up two at a time, letting them dry, um, you know, uh, working on. So I basically have three drying at the same time. Um, I got my uh, router set up to, uh, as a joiner, so I can uh, get a, a nice glue edge there. So um, I've already joined the pieces, so uh, now I'm just using it to, as a table to cut stuff out. But I kind of got an assembly line while I'm gluing up a couple there. I got some glue in there. Um, I got these ones on the drying rack here, working on those. And then, um, you know, I got my table saw set up. I got the pallet there, got the forklift if I need to fork anything and so um, yeah I just kind of bounce back and forth between the doing the returns and doing uh, the uh, the pie shapes and um, yeah should uh, should be able to rock and roll now um, still got a lot to make but uh, definitely having everything set up and a little assembly line uh, works pretty nice uh, you could totally do this all on site uh, no reason why you wouldn't um, I do a lot of this on site but um, I had a lot to do and uh, uh, I'm going to be pre-finishing them and I have my drying rack here. It's just easier to do it in the shop. So um, more and more I'm trying to do more and more in the shop. It just, it's easier to leave this all set up. I uh, don't have to worry about um, it cleaning up on the wet, on the uh, job site and all that kind of stuff and worrying about leaving tools. So um, yeah, this works out pretty good. So. Hopefully you got some tips. Um, if you have any questions, just shout at me. You can shoot me a direct message. Uh, if you have any tips for me, I'm always uh, willing to learn and uh, expand my knowledge. So uh, yeah, yeah, throw out any tips that you might know. Um, sometimes I for even forget stuff as I'm doing them. So uh, anything that makes the job uh, look better and be more productive is always awesome. So hope this helped you guys out and uh, um, y'all have a good weekend.